this morning I'm sitting here in my driveway just on the edge of my garden. I suspect some people wouldn't think of me as a gardener, but I really do love it. Love getting my hands dirty in the soil. Love watching the fruits of the labor of love that is gardening produce results. I call it my Adam or my Adam complex. <laughs> I think maybe some of it grows out of the fact that doing ministry all my career, and particularly with young adults, we so rarely get to see the outcomes, the results of the time that we put in an accompaniment with young people. We trust that God and the Holy Spirit is walking alongside of them, alongside of us, and leading them, guiding them towards um, their beloved future. But at any rate, I, I love to garden. This, this little guy, this grapevine of sorts is <laughs> growing right on the edge of the macadam of my driveway. It's the result of a dropped seed. We, we didn't plan to be here. My wife Tammy was so enamored by it though, we put up a trellis and there she sits. There's all kinds of scripture about these kind of things as you and I are all familiar with. I don't know how deep this root system is. <laughs> it is pretty rocky soil right here, but she's growing healthy, happy, enjoys the sunshine here. It's plenty of water coming off the macadam of the driveway. You know, I'm, I'm always fascinated by the beauty of God's creation, but particularly when it comes up in a place where I least expect it. The little flower that's growing out of the crack in the sidewalk, the, the mighty oak that emerges from a rock formation where the root system can't possibly seem to survive. So today, I was contemplating and I wanted to ask you to think about what unexpected things are growing in you? How is God working to plant seeds that you and I least expected? What might be emerging? Are we on the right path? Is there an unexpected opportunity that lies ahead? Our lives can be impacted by so many things that are both blessings and blessings in disguise. We do have difficulties that emerge and yet we see God acting in the midst of even those challenging moments. So my prayer for you and I this day is that we continue to find ways to nurture and care for those unexpected growth patterns in our lives and in the lives of those young people that we get to accompany and all of our siblings who we get to walk alongside of in this work we call ministry. Let's just pray for a moment. The Lord be with you. God, continue to help us to see the new life, the emerging life, in the places where we least expect it. To cultivate the growth that is happening even within ourselves and to walk alongside and help to grow with the gift of the Holy Spirit, that new life, that emerging growth that is happening in the lives of those around us. We pray these things in Jesus' name. As I think about growth, I um, want to invite you to consider the extravaganza this year. Registration is open. Our new website is launched. You've probably been there by now and seen it. We hope that you'll go to visit it soon if you have not. And consider the ELCA Youth Ministry Network extravaganza in January of 2024. Um, our early registration 
deadline is October 15th, and if you get in before then, you will save yourself some money and um, you can look forward to a fantastic event. Our planners are eagerly anticipating that and working really hard to, to bring together some of the best specialists and, and educators um, around the country to help bring a, a message of faith and of clarity for all of us. So we hope that you'll join us for the extravaganza in New Orleans and um, you'll also have a chance to see some of that city and perhaps prepare for the ELCA Youth Gathering in July of 24. Looking forward to seeing you there. In the meantime, Happy growing season.